All right, so you have a 3D printer. You want to take it off of the standard USB style, and you want to use Octoprint or Clipper, but you don't know how to do it, and you have no idea how to do it, and you're afraid that it's really overcomplicated. Let me show you how you can do it at a very minimal cost with uh, little to no effort. What we're gonna do, we're gonna pick up an orange pie. Um, they are available on AliExpress. They are very inexpensive, and they work almost identical to a Raspberry Pi, only they're, they're cheaper. So this is the Pi Zero Two from Orange Pi. I have built a custom case for it. Um, as you can see, the bottom piece here um, is the main board itself, where this top little piece is an expansion board you can buy for it. The expansion adds a little extra, which is two USB ports into it, as well as adds an audio jack and an infrared port. It is about 50 bucks all in, which is super simple. My case is available on printables, free of charge. Oddly enough, you just use the Raspberry Pi imager um, to flash yourself a uh, operating system onto a 32 gig SD card. All the information can be found on Orange Pi's website at orangepie.org, the top corner there. And you would just have to go to services and downloads and download the version of your Pi and it'll have an option. So we're doing the zero two and it will have all your operating systems. You can download an image. So for this specific purpose, I use Ubuntu and I like to download the Focal Server Linux. You just right click, download to your desktop. Obviously, once you follow the Raspberry Pi operating systems, you would drop in your operating system you want to do. Um, you would go through here and you'd go to the use custom, drop in your Orange Pi, which is on your desktop for me, and you hit write. So once it's connected with your ethernet cord, you go into your router settings and try to isolate which one is the Orange Pi. They conveniently show up as Orange Pi 2. So clicking in there gives you your IP addresses you will use. Now, I prefer using PuTTY as my access point to get into my Pi's themselves. So by entering in the IP address that you find on your router will give you access into the program itself. So it boots up, your basic username is root, and the password is orange pi. Once you're in, oh, this becomes your splash screen. Next, you need to add a username that's an admin. So just follow these prompts here and it'll allow you to create a specific user for your name to log in as an admin to your Pi.